Hey guys, it's Trisha, the left-handed stitcher. Tonight I'm going to do something a little bit different. I've recently heard quite a few people saying that they can't get to their messages, they don't know how. And um, so I'm going to show you how to do that tonight. What I want to start with saying is I normally use my laptop to do all of my management stuff with YouTube. Checking messages, comments, leaving comments, managing my subscription feed, watch later, playlists, all that stuff. I use my tablet just to watch videos. And the reason I do that is things are just easier on the desktop, the laptop. But since some of you may not have a PC, so you're working from your mobile device to do this type of stuff, I figured I would just show you on my tablet so I can help those folks out as well as at some point what you see on the tablet will mirror what you see on the laptop. So, all right, so we'll get started. And this right here, this is Toby, our new puppy. He is a handful, I gotta tell ya. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. This is what I normally use to watch videos. It's just a YouTube app. I have not been able to find a way to access messages or anything else that I do on my laptop. This is just a watch utility. In order to get to messages, you need to use an internet application. This is just uh, Internet Explorer. And to get to YouTube, I would suggest instead of typing it in the search bar, because I did that, I clicked on the wrong thing. I got some malware. It was not pretty. So the better thing to do is go up to the address bar and just type in www.youtube and mine populates right up there so I just go there and as you can see it automatically takes me to m.youtube.com this is the mobile version of YouTube which is basically what you see with the, applicate, the YouTube app so the thing to do to get from here to a PC version of it is to go over here uh, those three dots at the top Just click on that and you see it says desktop view check that box and it will reload the page to how you would see it on a PC from this point on uh, most of what I show you will be good for both the mobile devices and for um, PCs. I, uh, I'm i using an Android tablet so I don't know how this would translate to Apple devices. But So here we are at the home screen and on my laptop I don't go to this screen. I have, I have a shortcut that I follow and I'll talk about that in a bit to get to YouTube because this screen on my laptop takes so darn long to load because of this thing right here. But once you're on this screen, what you do is you click on my channel. And this is the quickest way to get to your messages from the home screen, YouTube screen. And I'm waiting for it to load. All right, so there's my channel page. I click on the subscribers right there. Because once I do, that will open up Creator Studio and drop you right into the Communities tab or li menu list. You can do Video Manager and it will drop you here instead, just like so but then you'd have to click on community to get to 
where you want to go. Alright, so if I had clicked on subscribers, it would dump me right there. The first entry in this menu is comments and the second one is messages. So this is how you check your comments and messages. Just click on messages, go to messages. And this is where your private messages are in YouTube. Now the comments page, this is where I go to check for comments on any of my videos. A month or so ago we stopped getting notifications of comments on our own videos. So this is where I go now. And I actually, to make it easier on myself, I have this very page bookmarked on my laptop. So I just go to the bookmark, I go right to this page first, I check comments, then I check messages, and then I go to my subscription feed to do my playlist management daily stuff that I do. Now I will show you on the tablet how you would um, create the bookmark if you don't know how. Over here is the little bookmark symbol, little star right there. Just click on it and the plus sign at the top. Click on that and it asks you if you want to add a bookmark and it use, it's got the current page listed. So I just click save and so it's right there. So even if I've opened up, this is the home page that I open to all the time. I would go to bookmarks and just to comments. And it will open it up just like that. Alright, so that's it. Let me know if you have any questions and if you're interested in me showing you how I manage my subscription feed, watch later in playlist. I do, I have a system that I use to manage all that. So if you're interested, just say so and I will, I'll show you. So, good night everybody. Mm -hmm.